This is a video tutorial for the tune The Rowan Tree as set for the Camden County Emerald Society Pipe Band. What I'm going to do first is simply play through the tune um, slowly and then I'll go back over some of the spots that I think might present problems for you. So this is a 4-4 march, two-part 4-4 march. In your sheet music all the parts are written out so it's pretty straightforward. You don't have to worry about repeat signs or anything like that. So if it's 4-4 you're beginning with a quarter note pickup note, so you'll count to three, then play your quarter note pickup note and launch into the tune. So one, two, three. So the first problem spot you encounter in this tune is in the very first full measure, where you need to play a C grip followed immediately by a C doubling down to B. So essentially you've got three C's there, one, two, three in a row, and you're separating them with a C grip and a C doubling. So let me just play that measure for you. One more time. So it's really important to get a nice, big, fat, low G on your C grip. And remember that that first note is dotted, so you're going to be holding it quite a bit longer than the second note, the second C. Uh, and then you're going to immediately go into a C doubling, which is played. So there's a lot going on in that measure. Let me start the tune again just so you see how it fits into context. One, two, three. Okay, then the, the next slight problem spot you encounter um, is in the playing the rhythm of the first two measures of the second part. So in your sheet music, that's the first two measures of the third line, since that's the first line of the second part. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and play the pickup E from the second line, or the very end of the first part, into the first E, which has a, a strike on it down the low A. Okay, so let me play that. One, two, three, four. Okay, so all you're playing there is a descending scale from E. Okay, so what you need to do though is be aware of how those notes are played in rhythm with the grace notes placed properly. Let me play that, that lick one more time. One, two, three, four. I'm going to sing it now. And one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. Okay, if you're more comfortable doing this, you can actually write those numbers into your music if that helps, or make a copy of the music and write the numbers in the copy um, so that you have nice clean music to go back to when you're ready to play it properly. The only other problem spot um, in this piece is in the, the last measure of the third line, or the last measure of the first part of the second uh, part, um, 
where you have the first two sixteenth notes you've encountered so far in the repertoire we've gone over. Um, I'm just going to play it the way it's written, which is very straight, and then I'm going to discuss this a little bit. So one, two, three, four. Let me play that measure one more time. Now, your pipe major may require you to play those two sixteenth notes a little differently, and in many settings of this tune, that first C is sometimes held a little bit longer, and then those two notes are played almost like 30-second notes. They're, they're, they can be very fast. Let me just demonstrate how this tune, uh, this measure could be played. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more time. But the way it's written here, um, it's actually played like this. Okay, so that's going to be between you and the pipe major when the time comes. But for now, I'd like you to play it the way it's actually written, and then you'll have time enough to speed it up later. The only other thing that I'd like you uh, to take note of is the half E doubling that you have in the third measure of that third line. That is the third measure of the first part, uh, first line of the second part. So we play, let me go back and play the beginning two measures of, of the second part and then go right into that half E doubling. We discussed this in class, but I just want to make sure that you have it down. One, two, three, four. right there. Now, if this were a normal E doubling, which is played, as you know, a G and an F, one after the other, uh, you would play it with both of those grace notes. But E doublings coming from high G and high A, you can only play the F grace note on, so it becomes a half E doubling, or an E half doubling. Okay. or from high G. In this case, so to finish off this tune, let me just play it through one more time slowly so that you can go back and practice it and play along with me if you like. So one, two, three. Thank you.